Okay, today we're going to be estimating. We've already estimated before. Today we're going to be estimating with decimals. So, um, pretty much the same idea when you're estimating. Uh, but there's more than one way you could do it. So let's look at the two ways your book goes over. So one way we can do it is just to round to the nearest. Well, here we have two numbers. We're going to round to the nearest hundred. Okay, in this example, we've got 237.5 and 345.1. And what is the nearest hundred and they hundred that we have here? So we've got 237.5 and the nearest hundred is 200. Okay? That's pretty right. If you think about it, is 237 if you're thinking of your number line, right? Is it closer to 200 or 300? And you know right in the middle is 250, right? So 237 is going to come on this side, right? 237 is between these two, uh, so we know that it's going to be closer to 200. 345.1, again, thinking of your number line, is it closer to... Okay, I'm back. Is it closer to 300 or 400? And again, I have 345, and you can already see here, but again, what's halfway between 300 and 400? 350. And so 345, it's close to 350, but it's on the other side. It's right here. So again, I would say it's closer to 300. And then you would add those together. And so again, uh, it's about 500. Another way you could think of that is doing that front end estimation. I see a 2, so 200 plus 300 is 500. Okay. Then you have another way you could add these numbers together is to think of compatible numbers. And those, again, are numbers that are easy to add together. And in this case, you know, 237, I know that 23 is pretty close to 25, right? And then so 250. And then 345, again, that 345, we already looked at the number line, it's pretty close to 350. And 250 plus 350 is 600. And I just want to show that, you know, we've estimated both of these, but which one do you think is a better estimate? Um, and again, thinking about 237 is pretty close to 250, 345 is close to 350. This 600 is a better estimate than 500, right? They're both estimates, and again, sometimes when we're estimating, it doesn't really matter if we're close or not. But if I'm trying to figure out if I have enough money, then maybe I want to make sure I'm using compatible numbers or an estimate that's closer. You could also overestimate as well. Okay, so let's just do one more up here together. Let's try adding 172.3 uh, plus let's add week 5, which is 338. Now again, if I'm just estimating, is this closer to 100 or 200? I know 170 is much closer to 200. 338, is it closer to 300 or 400? It's closer to 300 because 330, again, right in the middle is 350. And so if I added those together, I get 500. Now if I wanted to do a compatibles numbers, um, you know, here I might do, this might be an interesting one, where 172 is pretty close to 175, and 338 is pretty close to 325, right? It's closer to 325 than 300. And I know it's 75 plus 25, right? I'm thinking, I know that those two together are 100, so I've got 100 plus 300 is 400, plus another 100, so that would also come up to be 500. Okay, notice that my estimates there were really close, right? They were pretty much the same estimate. So either way, I got 500. Okay, so again, we're estimating sums. And when you come to the group, we'll do some more. Okay, thanks for watching.